Okay, so I want to oh, go to Illustrator. I want to place a photograph, and I already took this image into Photoshop and posterized it the same way we did on Photopea. Um, I'm going to make a copy of this actually. Copy. Command B is paste behind. I'm going to Command 2, lock it. So I have a copy because I know what I'm showing you is not going to work. So if I wanted to make this photograph vector, I could do 16 colors and it will color separate the posterized image. But watch what happens because what I want to do is put just Cayenne's face on my shirt. But um, I want to manipulate some of the colors, maybe manipulate um, the image a little bit, maybe make it a little more cartoony. Um, so after I uh, image trace, I hit expand, and look what happens. I get all these crazy points that, it's almost like a paint by number, right? Um, and I won't be able to, I can manipulate it, um, but it would just take me so long to do what I need to do if I grab these individual points. Um, it's just not worth it. So I'm going to delete that and show you. Here's the image that I copied and pasted behind and locked. How to use the paintbrush. Um, I could use the pen tool and draw, but I find the paintbrush actually was a lot faster. So what I want to do, actually, I'm not going to fill it. I'm going to stroke it. I'm just going to use red just so that, or orange, whatever. Um, and right now I have a pre pretty big paintbrush, meaning it's pretty heavy, which is fine. And right now, I'm just tracing around the white area because I want to create one solid shape that I can fill. Um, now, right now, it's just a line. I could fill this in. Let's go in and fill it in, and I can change the color later. Uh, the problem with this, though, is now when I go in, I've got all these kind of weird lines, right? So instead of doing that, I'm going to delete that, and I'm just going to keep this because as long as my stroke weight is overlapping and this is selected, I can go to Object, Path, and Outline the Stroke. So now it's outlined the outside of my stroke weight. And then I want to go to my favorite, again, making sure that the lines are overlapping somewhere, Pathfinder, and click on Unite. And that's uniting those paths. So let me just Command Z so you can see what happened. Command Z, you can see this is just one separate path. Now when I combine it, it's one solid piece. However, there is the negative space here. So with the direct selection tool, I'll deselect. Select the inside there. Just delete that twice. Oh, and select that. And then when I go to preview mode, I have this nice single solid shape that I didn't have to click and drag with a pen tool, whoops, and I don't want to stroke it, I'm going to fill that with white. So I would just repeat that process real quick. I'll show you though with the paintbrush tool. I can actually make this tool smaller or larger with the bracket keys on the keyboard. If I hit the bracket on the right, the brush gets larger, brush gets smaller on the left. But basically, I've already done all this, so you can see um, I've basically traced all the different shapes. I could clean this file up, but this is um, good enough that if I wanted to um, change maybe her ear, for example, I'll zoom in on the ear, um, and I can play with that. Oops. If I wanted to interlock, or maybe maybe I don't like this tan color. Maybe I want her to be a little more red. I can select just one of these shapes, and then go to select same fill color. So anything that's got this whatever brown color that I put in there, it's going to just automatically select. And now I can go to my swatches and pick a different brown or double click this and pick in the swatches. And that's going to change that color. Let's make it just really dramatic. Here's my preview. Let's say okay. Let's make it really funky. Um, just so you can see. So that's just some quick shortcuts on how to make your photograph vector without doing the image trace and cleaning up the file or clicking and dragging with the pen tool.